cold. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, let me get this cranking up. There we go. How y'all doing tonight? You know, I said I was going to do this video, do an um, emergency car supply video, and everybody is... Uh, Everybody is in a pinch. So that's why I didn't just wait a few days. I wanted to do it right now. So I went into some of my stash and I even bought a few things. Hey, Granny Karma, how you doing tonight? Good to see you in here. Um, I went in my stash and I even purchased a few things to show you something because I wasn't going to go through all of my stuff to do this. The reason I did that and I actually recorded me shopping, but that's a... I, I said it's best I go live so we can all do this together, okay? So before we even get started, family, um, everybody know the situation right now with the weather. So before we get started, if you get, I don't care if your tablet, your phone, pen or paper, I don't care if you can write some stuff down, we're about to go down a list I'm going to make a list for you, and after I'm done, because everybody always be asking me for the links to this stuff, after this video is done, I'm going to post the links in the comments, okay? I'm going to pin my links up in there, so you can just go right to it if you want to just hit that and grab it. Now, number two, when this video is over, remember one thing. I'm not the say-it-all, be-all prepper of surviving. I'm not ex-military. I'm not none of that stuff. So if you know better or you have ideas, put it in the comments below, okay? Not in the live chat because nobody's going to see it. Once the video is over, put your ideas in the comments below so other people can see that and say, hey, that's a good idea, all right? I'm telling you what me and Lady Led travels with every day for just in case, okay? So, uh, everybody got your pen, paper, tablet, chalk, sidewalk, charcoal, I don't know, sharp rock, a chisel and a hammer so we can write this stuff down and get popping. I'm going to wait a couple more minutes because we just knocked that out in a quick three minutes, which is rare for me. How is everybody doing? Hey, 2%. Hi, uh, is that LW? Is it D Griffin? So if you don't have your pen and paper or your tablet, whatever, you're going to record this stuff down or hit your record on your phone for this whole video or go back and watch the video again, you can do whatever you want. But it's just easier if you write down a list so you can either pull it up online or you can go to the store and look. Here you go right here. There's a few things. Kid you not, I wrote this on a piece of mail. I said, these are a few things I'm going to pick up because I'm not digging it out. And everybody know I got all this stuff, but I'll, man, I'm not digging it out of all my stuff, okay? So, um, I hear a tornado hit. Where did that tornado hit? Where did that tornado hit, y'all? Was it Detroit? Or was it? Was it wasn't Texas, was it? Did anybody hear about that? Soon as I woke up, I heard about the tornado um touching down. North Carolina. Okay. Uh, let me see. Had to melt snow for okay. Let me see. You had to melt snow for that? You just supposed to do that out in the snow. You don't need to melt it. <laughs> Look, when it come down to it, that's why I told y'all about them buckets. That you got to break that. That bucket turns into a lot of things, remember? That's why I called it the bucket bug out. Because that bucket, you can carry your bucket. You can carry water. You can carry all kind of stuff with that bucket. That bucket also becomes a commode. That bucket becomes a seat. When you tired, you need to sit down somewhere without sitting on the muddy, wet ground. Buckets are everything. That's why y'all see me with tons of them. Tons of them. 
Your buckets is everything. Your bucket hauls your food. Your bucket hauls your tools. Okay. I'm going to also link my bug out survival playlist at the end of this video. I'm going to put the little tag up so you can just click on that and have your way with whatever video I got on there. So you will see what we've been doing for years. All right. So. All right. Hey, what's up, Hidden Harvest Grow Light? What's going on, man? Let me see. Who else did I say? Hey, Angela Lope. Lock. Let me see. Missed something there. Well, it's good to see y'all. Uh, there was a recent tornado in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, damn permaculture food for us, man. It was so good to see your family, man. It was so good to see you. Uh, beautiful family, too. All right. Okay. We can let the poop in the bucket thing go. Everybody was having fun with that. <laughs> and nobody said tools in the bucket anytime, Dan. Nobody said nothing. They just fascinated. Like, come on now. All right. Why do you grow with cocoa core? Because it's, number one, it's cheap. Number one, it expands like six or seven to ten times that little brick that you get and is neutral and holds, and holds moisture thank you baby see i told you that's why i got it and it holds a lot of moisture so you don't have to add too many different things to it all right we ready we ready all right now here's the deal you in your car uh, you in your car and stuff ain't gonna go right all the time number one before we even get started this is about emergencies y'all <laughs> right people is out there dying right now so right now I'm not, I'm not gonna be talking about how to plant potatoes right now I'm, all right just just not this time people is out here and they're literally dying from this storm okay so i really want to kind of stay focused on that because i've i've seen a couple things we that that's coming tomorrow all right i'll be up on y'all with that one tomorrow but right now i don't i want everybody to come out okay because it's a lot of people who don't quite uh they need some help Okay, so right out the gate, the first thing you need in your car, number one, you need some jumper cables. You need jumper cables. I'm going to write it down as I go so we can do this again. Jumper cables. If you don't, if you ride around without jumper cables in your car because you have a very expensive car or you have um, one of those programs that are come and pick you up off the side of the road when uh there's an emergency you have a flat tire or something like that that is no reason that isn't um no excuse to not be ready to do stuff yourself i i keep telling y'all over and over mm, i got some got something in my mouth give me some water uh i keep telling y'all over and over again the last thing you should be doing is waiting for somebody to come and help you in an emergency. You should already always be ready to defend yourself. Thank you, honey. Take care of yourself and save yourself first. Okay? I think that was a beetle. I ain't lying. He take Yeah, that that whatever was in my mouth tasted like something. I swear, I, when I went outside to take that thumbnail picture, I'm pretty sure he flew in my mouth. I, something hit my face. I think he went in my mouth. I didn't notice this till now. Well, something was right here on my teeth. <coughs> and when I crunched it, <coughs> it made a crunch. <coughs> and it kind of tasted like... <laughs> it had a flavor, okay? One that I don't care to do again. But it had a flavor... Flavorful crunch. It might have some life giving. I, I'm sure. Either that or I'll get some superpowers or something out the deal. Yeah. 
I don't need no protein. Give me some superpowers. <clears throat> okay, back to action. Don't be waiting on people to come and save you. <clears throat> don't be waiting on people. I don't care if you pay for that program every month and they're supposed to either come give you a rent a car, uh, come give you a jump, new yeah, battery. Too many delays right. <clears throat> Especially during a, thank you, honey. During an emergency, how many more people is messed up on the road that they got to go help before you call? Okay. First come, first serve when it comes to them. They don't go by uh, who's in worse dire right need. Now, Right. They oh, <clears throat> that's what happened to you. Yeah. If if they do come and have to tow your car, they're going to leave your tail right there. OK, so you can't ride in your car while it's hooked up. Of course not. Well, yeah. I, you're right. I better tell people you can't. <coughs> Damn, that Beetlejuice went down. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I know, maybe I should have bit him one more time. <clears throat> like Britney Spears. Because <clears throat> he's sitting in there. He don't want to go down. So, all right. That's number one. Be ready to take care of yourself because you might be riding with kids. You might be riding with um, uh, family members. You always got to think about other people. You might cause an accident or somebody else cause an accident. And both is going to be more than just you in a mess. Okay? <clears throat> so, that's number one. Number two and simple, we're going to get right down into it. <clears throat> All right. This is called a baby bug out. Now, this little thing here, you see how small this is? There's no reason <clears throat> you shouldn't have this somewhere in your car, all right? Under the seat, if you don't have an SUV, it should be in your trunk. If you don't have a trunk, it should be in the rear of your car, under, under one of the driver's seats. This should be somewhere, okay? So, <clears throat> we're going to get right on to it. Number one, what well, number one was jumper cables. Number two, cotton rags. Family, I'll be preaching cotton. Keep cotton in your survival kit. Cotton of all sorts. I don't care if it's old rags. I told y'all, I tear up rags, whether it's your old t-shirt, some old socks. If it's cotton, that's going to save your life because one thing it can do, <clears throat> you could use this to stop a wound. Remember, you're in an emergency. You might have crashed. You might have fell off in a ditch. You might have a busted head. You need something to hold that on there. All right? That's number one. Number two, tourniquet. Number three, fire starter. Okay, this is tender. This is something that is, is multi-purpose. A normal old cotton wash rag. You understand? Your t-shirt. Sometimes you don't even need things like this to start a fire. Some people carry like wood chips and, and uh, <clears throat> things of that nature with them. You don't have to. If you're wearing cotton, tear that shirt. Tear that shirt. To set it on fire so you can get you a fire going. Okay? People, you know what I've noticed? A lot of people pass away or perish on the road. They be fully clothed. They'll freeze to death and have on a bunch of clothes. They never thought to take a piece of that clothing, one item, and set it on fire so they can stay warm. That always gets me. So little stuff like this goes a long way. You can use this for a billion different things. So it don't matter what you can do, right, for, from hypothermia. You know, even if you got to be like, look, this sock got to come off because you can live without a foot. <coughs> okay? You can live without a foot. <clears throat> that, that foot might turn black and fall off. Okay? But you will be alive. Everybody seen Mr. Deeds? <laughs> 
All right, let's keep going. So we're going to say cotton wash rags, cotton cloth. I don't care what it is. Cotton cloth. All right, whether it's your T-shirt or you just bring it with you. All right, we can let we can let the beetle go. Um, once they still on the beetle, cause he's choking me out over here. This is the most necessary item for everything you do in life. Do you hear me? This will save your life. I know they make a lot of jokes about it. They say it's either ghetto or it's hood or it's country. They say this is for people that's poor and broke. But this, you know what? I I like that. You know why? Because usually poor people, broke people, they're resourceful and they're survivors. So you can call it whatever you want to. All right. Duct tape. Number three is duct tape. You know what you can do with this? <clears throat> Number one, it's flammable. Number two, again, using your cotton rag or your piece of your t-shirt, you can. You got a wound, you put that on there and you wrap that duct tape around there to keep you sewed up. Number three, a tourniquet. What's the hardest thing about making a tourniquet? The hardest thing about making a tourniquet is tying it tight enough to stop the bleeding. If you hit an artery, it's hard to stop the bleeding by yourself. Somebody else can pull it tight, but you trying to do it yourself, nine times out of 10, if you hurt an arm somewhere, that arm is no good to you. So you trying to do with one hand and your mouth, okay? Hopefully your mouth ain't busted. Remember, you're in a vehicle. That duct tape, you can pull it as tight as you want because as soon as you stick that duct tape on your arm, it ain't going nowhere. And pull it as tight as you can. And then you got a homemade tourniquet and you know it ain't coming loose until you find some help. Right? So, duct tape, you could do a bunch of different things with this. This should be number one. Duct tape should be all around your house and not just for sealing up ducts. This is good, but you know what? You go in the store, you can't hardly find this because it's always gone because people use this for everything. Your car radiator might be going bad. You know what people do on it? You go look at an old used car. How much duct tape is on them, on them pipes? Just so they can get home. You know what I'm saying? Duct tape. Now, number two. You may have to leave if you end up in a ditch and you don't know where you are. You might be traveling out of town and you are not sure where you are. Your phone may die and you might be walking through the doggone woods or walking down the road. You don't know your uh, ass from your elbows. You need to know where you're going. Don't waste your phone energy on dumb stuff that you could be having in your pocket. You need your battery life for as long as you can. Simple things like this, a compass. Old school, if you was a Boy Scout or you even know a Boy Scout, or you, everybody granddaddy or they daddy got one of these somewhere in their old fishing tackle box. You know why? Because daddy or granddaddy used to get drunk out on the fishing bank sometimes and his homeboy's leaving, he got to get home. I know y'all heard that story before, okay? A compass. There you go. Old school. It works. Don't look at this. This costs like $2. Don't look at this and be like, that's ridiculous. Don't look at that. Everybody that's putting ideas in the, um, in the chat, remember to put those same ideas in the comment section when we're done because people are going to want to come back. Hey, bull. People are going to want to come back and write that stuff down because I'm seeing a lot of good things y'all saying, but make sure you put them in the comments afterwards, okay? Old school, you know what that is? Come on, it got a compass on it. If you are trying to get attention because you can't move and you stuck or you got a couple broken legs, you're trying to get attention to you, you down in a ravine in a ditch somewhere, people driving right by you. Baby, watch your ears. I'm about to do this because I don't want to scare you. 
Ooh, that's loud. Guess what? $2. They got these at the dollar store, dollar generals, everything. There's no reason why you shouldn't have a compass and a whistle. All right? Remember, y'all, put all those ideas in the comments after, too, okay? So, boom. Right here, everybody, we might as well get this out the way. A flashlight. Here's, a, here's one of my solar flashlights that I've had forever. They don't even, I don't think they even make these no more. If they do, they probably cost a fortune. See that little solar panel on this? I've had this for about 15, ooh, about 20 years. You see the rubber button gone, everything. But see, it's, it's dim because it's been in my bag. It's been in my stuff. So it just got a little bit of light from what I've, I've done so far. But you need a flashlight, preferably one with an emergency beacon on it, okay? Something that you can see because you can't, you can't say when you're going get, to get in an accident. Usually it's going to be somewhere at night. You need a flashlight, okay? Now, number one, num number two, we're going to put a flashlight down here, but we ain't done with the flashlight. Okay, I prefer myself, these, these are at the dollar store. There's no reason you shouldn't have these. A headlamp. You know why? Because you may be trying to keep cold, keep warm, and you are trying to see how to either fix yourself. Remember, you wrapping a tourniquet or you patching a wound. Look, you're trying to see. You got one arm. You can't do this and patch yourself up. These don't cost anything. You ain't gonna, unless you take the duct tape and duct tape that to your head, okay? But this, yeah, this makes everything hands-free, simple and easy, and they, they don't cost nothing. They come in packs of 10 around the holiday season for $5.99, stocking stuffers, they call them. You know what I'm saying? There's no reason you shouldn't have this. None. I got tons of these everywhere in every vehicle. We're going to keep on going because I don't want this to be forever. Now, <clears throat> we're going we gonna to do this real quick. Cotton balls. I told y'all this is in my big bug out, but your cotton balls, cotton balls, fire starters. Okay? Here we go right here. This is all in one little pack. Cotton balls, Vaseline. A cotton ball mixed with Vaseline. Write that down. Cotton ball number five is cotton ball. Or it could be the rags. But Vaseline added on there, you, you got yourself a flame that ain't going to go out. Okay? Cotton balls is number... Five, number six is Vaseline. The little jar like that will go a long way. Vaseline. All right? That is a party starter right there. And of course, <clears throat> matches. Family, don't go nowhere without no matches. You ain't got to smoke. Lighter is a little bit easier and a little bit more waterproof. Matches. I don't care where you get your matches at. All right. I don't care what brand they are, but you need some source of fire. If you don't know how to make fire yourself, if you, number one, you need to learn that. But if not, look, that's right off the bat. OK. So Vaseline. Number six. Number seven. Matches. Slash lighter. Okay. Now, this one, I'm going to even demonstrate this for a minute for you. Uh, what did I do? Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to dip this in a little Vaseline. A little Vaseline. Now, remember, this stays in your car. All of this stuff that I'm pulling out was in that little container. It's in this little container. All right. <clears throat> Now watch this. This is something else you need. Hey, 
Everybody need these. They don't cost anything. It's like, I don't know how much they are now, but I got tons of these everywhere. What this is is a ferro rod. It makes fire, flint, and steel. That's all it is. And uh, what did Louis call it? Uh, 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 oh, magnesium. Now, okay, look. Come on, baby. Come on, baby, light my fire. Boom. All right? That simple. Now you got fire. And that cotton ball, uh, give me something, because this ain't going to go out no time soon. That cotton ball is going to burn with that little bit of Vaseline on there forever. And then, yeah, that's fine. Hmm? Give me some tongue. Well, never mind, never mind. See, it still want to burn in the water because of that Vaseline. All right? So, this is what you... Sometime in some of my videos, instead of my bullet, you'll see me wearing this. All right? Those are things that I'm showing you stuff that's at any big box store or any department store or any dollar store that don't cost nothing. Everything I'm showing you right now is going to cost you about $20. And there's no reason you shouldn't have it in your car it's every day, especially now during emergency times. Okay? Just put fire rod. You don't got to. Uh, and come on. Everybody got some of this in their house for whatever reason. You got this. All right. So fire rod. I got all, it's all different kinds of them. You got your flint and you got your stone. It's all different kind. But this is my favorite. Put, put it on some uh, paracord rope and you got a necklace that you're walking around with. Okay. So we're going to put fire rod for number eight. Before we get started, do you see what that is? A all metal, inside and out, any kind of cup, any kind of container. Because just like the bucket, you can use this for everything. You can use this for drinking, of course, which I need another drink because that, that beetle juice. <clears throat> I'm, I'm playing it off real good. But that beetle got me. I think a wing got me. Okay. You can use it for drinking. You can also use it as a pot. But make sure, make sure it's one of these cheap, all stainless steel ones. Okay. Right. You can use it to boil water. You can use it to cook anything but it's right here at your disposal you can even store all of this stuff inside of this cup it will fit simple <clears throat> i'm showing you something that if worse come to worse okay worse come to worse this is stuff that you will need a little old folding stove or if you have an empty can if you have an empty can that you ate some food out of, you can make a little stove out of that so your candles can sit under that, which I'm going too fast here. Where did they go? Oh, here we go. Plain old tea light candles. <clears throat> now I bought these today because I didn't want to dig mine. I got a whole bucket full of these. But normal tea light candles. Imagine. A tea light candle over top of this, you boiling water. This is not that hot. But if you set it over this thin stainless steel, it's going to boil that water. All right. And if anything, if anything, it ain't, it may not boil it hard enough to sterilize your water. But what it will do is warm it up enough to so you can drink some warm water to heat your insides up. Okay. So I, I've had somebody last time, that won't sterilize the water. It's not, that's not what it's meant for, okay? This is the emergency. If you can keep your core temperature warm, you are already above the grade right there. Keeping your core temperature warm. So while we're on the, uh, so 
stainless steel cup or can. I don't care what it is. It could be an old soup can. I don't care. Number nine is a stainless steel cup. Container, can, it don't matter. All right? That's important. Candles, I don't think we put candles down there. Candles are number 10. That's important. And I'm going to show you how we put all this back in here. I'm not even going to show you the little folding stove. I mean, because most people ain't going to have this. This will take the place of this. All right? <clears throat> all right. There is no reason you shouldn't have a little multi-pocket knife. There is no reason, family. It don't matter if you're a woman or a man. There is no reason you shouldn't have a multi-tool in your car. You can, they sell them at, uh, what is that, Dollar General. It, they don't have to be super sharp. They don't have to, they could break after the first use, but you may need the point of that. You may need the fingernail clippers. You don't know what part you might need out of there, okay? Right, and some type of rope. That's why I said, get you some paracord. But little stuff like this, little things like this, okay? You'd be surprised if something attack you in the middle of the night, what that little pen knife would do. It, it at least makes something think about, okay, this ain't going to be an easy lunch, okay? Remember, everybody that's just coming in, if you have ideas to throw in here, put them in the comments below after the video. Because nobody's going to watch the whole video again. Make sure those are good ideas. Make sure you put them in the comment section below. Okay? I'm going to keep on rocking. I'm going to speed this up. Number 11, blanket. Cut the games. I don't care if it's summertime. I don't care if you live in Miami. Blanket in your car. Y'all know what this is. You know where I got it from. And you know how much it costs. I think this is $250. Blanket, number 11. It's no reason. It's no reason, family. These don't cost nothing either. Little hand warmers. Because once your hands go numb from cold, you're done. So if you don't have gloves on already or they've been, they've been compromised, these heat up real quick so you can function and do the rest of this stuff. Because without your hands, you're in a lot of trouble. Okay? Number one. Hand warmers. Everybody's seen these. They work. And they cheap. Just like the knife, scissors. I always kept all my nurse's scissors. Keep Get you a nice, decent pair of scissors. I know it sounds ridiculous, but you don't know you might have to cut a pants leg for heat. You might have to cut your pants leg to check for wounds, check for damage, check for breakage, anything. And you don't want to go, if you already hurt, you doing this, trying to cut your pants leg to see, have you broke your leg? You might do more damage than good, okay? So you can do them scissors and cut that pants leg off, cut that sleeve off. And plus, with this, if you just need a little bit of shirt, because you don't want to strip buck naked trying to stay warm either, because you're defeating the purpose. You just need a little piece of your shirt to stay warm right? To get that fire going. So you're going to have some trouble like this. This is going to cut you up and you're going to be looking like the Incredible Hulk. So, and you might hurt yourself. Scissors. Be a little bit more precise. Okay? And to me, last but not least, family, last but not least, you know one thing I haven't said? <clears throat> a poncho. Everybody always saying poncho, a poncho, a raincoat, raincoat. I never say poncho. I, I have some, but I don't use them. In a bad situation, you know what I use? A cheap tarp. Your tarp, you cut a hole in it and stick your head through it. It's a poncho. You take your head out and fold it up over a wire or a branch. It's a tent. You get cold, it's cover. You need to carry somebody else to safety that got hurt with you. You're functional. 
but the other person isn't, you lay them on this tarp and you drag them the best you know how to safety. Okay? This is everything because you might be the one that's hurt and need to get dragged to safety. And these cheap tarps, and they last forever. They don't cost nothing, y'all. They don't cost nothing. All right? So that was our quick little, I'm not, we ain't gonna get into all you need a hatchet and a hammer and a saw, even though I got all that stuff in there. We ain't gonna get into that. Cause this is everyday survival. Okay, this ain't your car ran off a cliff in the California hills or something and you stuck on a ledge. We ain't gonna go there. All right, we're being for real, we're being realistic. And this is about everyday travel back and forth to work. You just going out of town for a minute to see your aunt in Atlanta. And y'all know the stretch between South Carolina and Atlanta, there's nothing there. There's just woods. On either side of the road, they got a bunch of little small towns, super small little towns that even off the exit, it take you miles to get to them. Okay, so I'm just telling you about what I know with my area. From Myrtle Beach to Atlanta, Georgia, there is really nothing to see. On I-20, I-26, there is nothing there but you. And when you break down, you broke down. All right. Now, I'm gonna put this up so you can see. I'm gonna try to fit it back in there. So you can see this all fits right back in here. It's nothing to it. Vaseline, candles, blanket, flashlight. Seems like I'm forgetting something. Whistle, compass. This is stuff that you need. Oh, oh, oh. No, wait a minute. We ain't there. Put in a put in a sandwich bag. It'll keep keep it dry. This ain't brain surgery, family. Had, I don't know how I had this. There you go. There you go. Alright. And before I go, I mean not go, paper and pencil. You need some paper and pencil. That's why I said that. I don't want to leave that out. You need paper and pencil inside of your container. Why? Because if you happen to leave your vehicle to try to find safety, you need to let somebody know where you went. Which way is the last way you went? You write that on some paper and you stick it to the windshield. So if somebody does discover your vehicle, you can say, I went that way. You look at your compass. I went south looking for help so they can start looking south the faster people figure out which direction you went the faster they can save your life no uh oh okay <clears throat> so here we go put that away where's the lid the containers themselves the containers i think it was four for seven dollars something like that four of these containers for seven bucks I'm going to show you my original container. I grabbed these today. This is one of my original containers. But I saw these on sale, and I figured y'all need to know that too. Okay? That's spaghetti poking out. So that's a quick tool that you need to keep in your car. Number two. Let's get ready. You don't know how long you're going to be stuck, right? Okay. This is something you're going to be using all the time. All the time. Most of us got children that's traveling with us. So you're going to be using this every day. There you go, Angela. Food. To either shut a kid up on a normal day, a normal basis. Oh, let me put that back in there. Your kid, I'm hungry, mom. I'm hungry. Can we stop? No, grab that Pop-Tart. Okay? Food. So write that down. Let me get my paper and pencil back out of here. Food. 
You need to keep food in your vehicle at all times. So I'm going to put a line across that. Number one, food store. So number one, you need canned food. All right? Canned food, perishables, things that don't go bad. Because your car is going to be getting hot. It's going to be getting cold. It's going to be getting all kind of every which way but loose. Okay? So, number one. There you go. Thank you, Anita. Water. You can't do anything without water. You can have as much food as you want. But if you don't have, have this stuff, you should always at least keep about four to six bottles of water in your car. Now, mind you. In your food storage, this stuff should be rotated all the time. Eat some for lunch. This is an everyday emergency. This is not to be just all this stuff. It's not to be stored away for uh, the apocalypse. No. This is everyday emergency, everyday uses. Every All of us have ran into all of these situations. Okay? That's what this is for. So you should have at least four to six bottles of water in this container. I could fit four bottles of water in here. Now, number two, I keep these in here to shut people up. Even though my kids is big now, you can keep them in there to shut myself up. Y'all know what those is. You can't go wrong with those, all right? Need some sugar, some carbs. That's important. Okay. I was a little too happy about that, wasn't I? Now, if, if you're not allergic to uh, peanuts, if you're allergic to peanuts, but you can like eat almonds, whatever, you need protein. So you keep you some old cheap peanut, but don't go, you ain't got to add the most expensive brand in there, okay? Keep you some old cheap peanut butter in there because that's high in protein, high in protein. This, and you can eat this, it's a last a lifetime. So keep you a small jar, big jar. Actually, I, I ate the small jar. I just put this in, this belong in the cabinet. I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you. So keep you a jar of peanut butter in your kit because this will keep you going. Now, here's another, and see, somebody keeps saying protein bars over and over again. You know why I said, that's why I said, put your comments in the comments after. Because people will be able to decide on them. And the reason why I don't carry no protein bars, because they'll melt in your car and you'll open up a bag of poop when you open up them protein bars. You open it up and you have a chocolatey, peanut buttery mess. And that's why I don't do those. I don't even do them. See, trust me, I do this literally every day. These is the things I do every day. This ain't I'm waiting for the apocalypse. This is things I do every day. Okay? And I found out the hard way. No, nope, no granola bars. Nope, no protein bars because they're a mess. With the granola bar, somebody kept saying too, you'll bite a granola bar and it's like an explosion. You got, you wasted food all over the place. You bit one crunch and you only got a third of the bite in your mouth. The rest is on your shirt. That's why I don't put them in there either. You know? So, peanut butter ain't coming off your spoon. And you're going to get every piece of that in your belly right there. And in your mouth. And it's delicious. No, no beans. What you go, How you going to cook some beans? We are, This is every day. This is for every day running. So we can food, little stuff like this. Make sure your can, you can open it yourself because if you can't open your can, don't waste space trying to put a doggone can opener in there. This is every day, every day, family. Stuff that you're gonna use every day. This ain't for, this ain't the big bug out. This ain't the big bug out kit. This is your everyday stuff that, look, for instance, you know why this is in here? Because one day I was hungry, I didn't have lunch, and I didn't know when I was gonna get lunch, so I stopped at a dollar store and got these. 
See? So instead of me putting these back in the cabinet, I added them to the kit. Sardines. You don't need no fork. You don't need no knife. You crack this open. You eat and you good to go. All right? Of course, Vienna sausages. Somebody done already said it. This is for survival, girl. So, Vienna sausages. Yeah, they ain't delicious. This, this ain't about cuisine. This is about you trying to get home. All right? If you fall over off, off the edge of the road, one of the problems is if you're there too long, you're going to need something to eat. And the reason I do this is because every, that too. I'm hungry, Dad, huh? Crack that open back there. Don't get that on my seat. Right? So right there, yeah, you could you could say, yeah. Ooh, they 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 ain't super delicious to everybody. This ain't about your your taste buds. This is about are you gonna live another day? Okay. Remember, car crash, car accident, you're in a ditch, hurt. Tuna fish. Can't go wrong. Make sure all your cans can open with a tab. You don't, you shouldn't need no tools in there, right? That's a good one. Beef jerky. Throw some jerky meat in there. Jerky meat. Some fruit. Throw a can of fruit in there. I don't care where you get it. Just something, something sweet, something sugary that's gonna bring, bring your blood sugar up and everything. It's a can of fruit. The reason I like, what was that? Thank you so much, Super Farm. Thank you. <laughs> what a blessing. Say so you're a blessing, Lynn. Thank you. you. You and Lady Lynn, thank you for all this time and energy to help us out. We just closed on 11.5 acres. Woo! And started a YouTube largely in part because of you guys. Thank you. But you know what? I can't take credit for that. Because I could talk till I'm blue in the face. But if you don't put forth the effort and the energy to do it, it means nothing. So I'll, I don't even want to take the credit for that. Remember, I'm just a reminder. You the doer. People can hear all they want to. I'm always running my mouth. But it's a lot of people that don't do. They'll listen to me, but they're not doing it. You just did it. So I give you all the credit for that. So congratulations on that land. Congratulations. And if me and ladies land, me and Lady Led's plan work out, we ain't gonna talk about that right now. But we'll love to come and see you. Okay? We'll love to come and see it. Thank you so much. I'm gonna keep on rocking. We got a little bit of time left. Can of fruit. The reason I said a can of fruit, do you know why? Because once you peel this top off, what do you got? Remember my coffee can cooker? You got something to drink out of. You got something to eat out of. You got something to carry around. Now, if you poke this side out, take a rock and bust that out, you put this on top of that to cook. Y'all seen me do it in my other videos. It's that simple. People just throw the can away, but you can use this for a billion different things. Turn this little can into a stove. You end up putting you a couple of candles down there in the bottom of this, punch a hole in the side so it can get oxygen. You have just created a stove top. Okay? Use everything in an emergency. Your shirt is fire. Everything is usable. Okay? Let's keep on pushing. Oh, that's it. I had a can of chicken. This was my favorite for lunch. That's it. That's all. We are done. So you have a tool and a food bucket. If you don't want to do separate, put it all in a five-gallon bucket, but that needs to be somewhere in your vehicle, okay? I wanted to do this to let you guys know that I know firsthand that if you start waiting for people to save your life, you may not be the one to make it.
Trust and believe that. A lot of people died not because um, they couldn't be saved. I don't know how I did that. They die or they pass away because they were waiting. Most of the time, people that sit still, they don't make it. Um, how many people show of hands saw um, Castaway? Oh, who was that? I didn't even see that one. Thank you, Cherise uh, Alchemy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, dear. How many people seen Castaway? Great movie, right? Great movie. But just like every movie, I just don't sit there and watch the movie because that's the part where, oh, if the movie wasn't good, it wasn't entertaining enough. But every, a lot of these movies have hidden messages in them. Hidden messages. One of the favorite parts, which everybody thought he was stupid, was the part I loved. Everybody was so caught up on watching him mess around with that tent, that soccer ball. They missed the message for the mess. They were so busy watching the mess, they didn't get the message. They like, what is he doing with that soccer ball, right? Oh, he going crazy talking to a soccer ball. No. You know what the best part of that movie was? He was really literally in paradise, if you think about it. He was in paradise. But in that movie, what I got from that movie is no man is meant to do all of this stuff by himself. You were put here, and I'm not getting religious or spiritual, but you were put here to be with other people and get along with other people and converse with other people. Why you think you can't scratch your own back? You ain't supposed to. That's just how I think. Now, okay, that's my opinion. A lot of people don't like that. But my opinion, that's my opinion. Okay? You can't do a lot of stuff. Everybody like, you know, God is almighty. Why didn't he make it so I could just scratch my back? And some of the things, why can't I just turn all the way around and see the danger behind me? Because you're not supposed to. It's supposed to be somebody else there watching your back. You face it this way, somebody facing that way. Their head can only swivel this far, so can theirs. With two people, you have a 360 degree view. You can't scratch your back because it's supposed to be somebody there to scratch your back for you. I'm not going to get spiritual. I'm not going to get religious. Just saying. That's my opinion. I know a lot of people don't like that. It is what it is. That's how I think. You ain't meant to be here by yourself. So that movie gave me one good message. He knew even though he's in paradise, he got all the food he want. He even looked better, had a good tan on him. All the food he could eat, palm trees, done built him a little house. He got everything. But he could not stand another day being by himself talking to these balls. <laughs> I'm going to let you run with that. Because I know Wilson wasn't the only one he was talking to. What y'all doing down there? Y'all busy? Because I'm just a... <laughs> but no. Think about that. He said either I'm going to live here for the rest of my life comfortably. He could have lived till he was 90 years old the way he was eating and, and his physical activity. Right? Or I'm going to risk everything to try to save my life. Both ways you're going to live. One, you might not live too long. Him making that old raggedy raft, he knew his chances were slim. But if you sit still long enough, this will kill you. That's why they say you always stay on the move. Sitting still long, too long will kill you. You sit there long enough and figure out your situation, and then it's time to move. Help ain't coming. You done figured it out. Help ain't coming. I got to go find help. So that's when you start needing stuff like this. I need food. I need water. I need shelter. Food, water, shelter. Basics. Basics. 
And that's what I just gave you. This should be up under the seat of your SUV or in the trunk of your car every single day. This weather ain't getting no better. Everybody think this, think, it's not spring yet. These ain't spring showers. It thundered so hard all last night and lightning and dump rain all last night kept us woke all night. It's winter. Thank you, Natalie Fairy Grandmother. She said, you and Lady Leah have blessed us with this knowledge. I pray the most high bless y'all a thousandfold. Thank you so much. And you know what? I feel that he already has. He already has. So I thank you for that. So, family, there's no reason. To, the few things I just showed you cost you about 20 bucks for absolutely everything. Let's just be for real, okay? Let's, let's even take it to 40 to $50. 40 or $50 would have saved your life or saved somebody else's life. And half the time, you know what you can do? You can save, say you ain't in a car accident. You ain't in a problem. Your day is going great. Somebody just blessed you with a super chat. You're feeling great. You know what else you can do? You can stop your dang on car and pass this can of fruit out to somebody that need it more than you do right now. You can replace it. So it ain't always about you. Okay? Remember that. While you're up, somebody else is down. Go ahead. What is it gonna hurt? Remember I told you to rotate your food? If you don't feel like eating no busted sardines and tuna fish, man, pass that out the window to somebody. Just now go put a new can in. Pass that water out. You, I ain't got no reason to have these Pop-Tarts in my pack, even in emergency. Pass it out the window. Okay? So that's all you guys. I'm going to make it short. So do me a favor. I hope this helped you. Thank you so much, Seth. Was that Seth, Seth Rogen? Oh, that got me for a minute. Uh, thank you so much, Seth. Uh, Seth, you ever seen Book of Eli? Yeah, and I told people what I got out of that movie. Everybody was so busy watching the great Denzel Washington do his thing, they didn't get. They didn't even get the message. Matter of fact, people hated that movie. That's one of my all-time favorite movies because there was so many great messages in it. But people, they wanted to see the mess. They wanted to see the shooting. Ain't nothing blowing up. Why ain't nobody having sex and all of this stuff? That's what people, that's what people get onto. They don't watch something to get knowledge from it. They watch it for entertainment. People want to be entertained. Do you remember uh, the movie Gladiator? Are you not entertained? Y'all here killing people in the Coliseum just for a good laugh? He meant that. See that? That's one of the greatest parts of that movie, that, that quote right there. But it had all kind of meaning to it. He's talking about us right now. We don't even want to do nothing to make no sense. We need entertainment. So, right, stay on the right path. Everybody have a wonderful night. I hope this helped you. And please do me a favor. Because what you're doing is helping everybody else in the chat that's watching us now that needs this help. I know I missed a billion different things. This is my emergency kit that I share with you. But you may have different things in your kit or different ideas. So please, when the video go off, put all of that, all of your ideas and things that you think will make a good kit in the comments below. I'm going to put up all of the things and the links to this, half of this stuff you can find around your kitchen and your bathroom. So thank you guys so much. Leia Farmer 73, I'm about to go spend the rest of my night with my baby. Y'all have a wonderful night. I love you guys. Please stay safe. Everything is raggedy out there right now. Y'all know it. I can't make this stuff up and you know what I'm talking about. All right. Thank you, y'all. Have a nice night. Leia Farmer 73, I love you and I'm out.